Hey guys, how are we all doing today? Today's project is da -da -da -da, a really simple and easy lampshade recover. Um, I can't get all of this in the screen because it is quite a big lamp. And I can't show you it turned on because I don't have the correct light bulb for it. And then I try to get the light bulb out of my other lamp and then that blew the, the filament in it. And it's, we just, let there be light. We have the vessel. <laughs> I haven't even had any coffee today, quite honestly, so I don't know where that all came from. But yeah, if you'd like to stick around and see how to make this really cool lamp, it honestly took less than 10 minutes, and half of that 10 minutes was waiting for the adhesive stuff to get tacky to stick it onto the lamp. So, you know, this could be a really cool, cheap Christmas present. So yeah, if you want to stick around and see how it was done, keep watching. So guys, for today's project, you will need a tape measure felt or a sharpie, some scissors, lamp stand of your choosing, I got mine at the warehouse for like four dollars, lamp shade, fabric, and some spray adhesive or a hot glue gun. Um, I've never done this before, I feel like I say this in every single video, but it's the truth, I just like to give things a go. What we, you will need to do first guys is take your lamp shade, take your tape measure, and measure all the way around. Mine is 17 inches, I am going to add half an inch, so that's 17 and a half inches round wise. And then it is 11 and a half inches in length, I am going to add an extra inch, so that's 12 and a half inches lengthwise. Take your fabric, measure it all out, cut it out, and then hopefully you have a salvage end. The salvage is just the edge of the fabric. You can see there's no print on there. So take that half an inch you added to this, fold it over and just press along there. Um, you can do that with an iron. I did that with my straightening iron last night because why not? So the reason we are pressing this edge here and not this edge here is when we roll it up, we're going to be able to cover the raw edge with a nice folded edge and it will look nice and professional. Right, once you have pressed the edge of your fabric, take your spray adhesive, read the instructions on how to use it, every can I assume is different, or turn on your hot glue gun. Right, so mine just says spray on a side to side motion, 20 to 25 centimeters away, wait two to five minutes for adhesive to become tacky, then place it on to your desired object. Now don't forget to sort of put adhesive under your, under your bit you hemmed and just sort of press it down. Yeah, you know, it's like sewing without sewing. Right, that is well covered. Just any lumpy bits, just smush down with your fingers. I'm also going to put a little bit on the lamp just to make sure that it adheres really well. Same with this, smush down any lumpy bits. Leave that for two to five minutes and we'll come back. Right. Okay, as I said, I've never done this before, so it's going to be interesting. Should be pretty self explanatory, but you know, things tend to go awry in my world, but that's okay. So. The lampshade here already has a seam along it, so we are going to start there, so... Oh, and I have to say, make sure the design of your fabric and your lamp are up the right way. If they're up the wrong way, the pattern's going to go the wrong way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know what I mean, sometimes. As I said, this is my first time doing this, so how should I do this? I'm going to... I'm going to take my seam and press it right down on this edge of the fabric here. Making sure that it's evenly spaced from top to bottom. <laughs> that was my dog Theo. Hey, come here and say hey. Oh my god, please work. Hey. Oh my god, I think it's working okay. guys. So we're just, we're just rolling. We're cool, we're cool. We're cool, we're taking our time. Cool, we're crossing our fingers. Okay. Right, cross fingers, guys. Cross fingers. Okay, right. That 
it's got a little bit of a bubble so just pull it back the really good thing about this adhesive is it is repositionable just roll it roll it this this motion here is helping possibly just smoothing it down awesome oh halfway there and then all you do is just fold it in was that and then just attach to your lampshade right and here you have it guys the extra cool lamp it's a little bit big to fit in the frame <laughs> it's probably at least 60 centimeters height and surprisingly enough I can't find the light bulb that fits in here it's one of those really teeny tiny ones that has the prong sticking out of it and our ones here are the screw in ones so yeah guys if you like that you know give it a thumbs up subscribe i do lots of sort of simple and easy diys and most of them quite honestly the first time i'm doing them is when i'm doing them here so this is the first time i tried this and it worked so it is all good but as per usual guys i am the former miss M, and i wish i was a rich girl Bye! Happy Christmas!